Hello friends, welcome to ASP.NET tutorial. In this video, we will report selected node and its children. So that means here we will add this set of controls to our web form to report the selected node and its children. So here um, we have two control. Say for example, if uh, user selected parent two, this will report selected node as parent two and display all the children. Here we have only one children, so it will display C1. So we have to use system.txt since we want to do a string builder. Tree view one selected node changed. So this is our tree view control and this will report an event selected node changed. Say for example at present user selected root one and now they are picking parent three. So that means here the selection is changing right from root 2 to parent 3. So this can be handled using the event handler selected node changed on tree view 1. So during that event uh, handler or during that event we make a we read selected node property of the tree view control and this will give us which node is selected say for example here parent 2 is selected and tree view dot selected node dot text will give us parent 2 and we are storing that here in the txt selected so that means we will name this text box as a txt selected and we are setting the text and all this is happening when the user is uh, picking a node. When user is picking a node, the time selected node change the event will uh, get fired and we have a handler here. Next, to retrieve number of uh, or all the childs, here if you see selected node, the same property we are using, but instead of text here we are using the child nodes. So this will give the collection tree node collection and so it's an array or collection and we are holding that as a child's child nodes we are holding it as a child's for the selector node we are retrieving all the child's say for example if root 3 is picked it doesn't have any child but when user picks the parent 3 it has three child's and those will be collected into tree node collection Next, here we are using the string builder and if a child is not equal to null, we are checking that because in root 3 there is no child, so it will not enter inside. But uh, if a user picked root 1, parent 2 or parent 3, we will be having child, so we will enter inside this uh, if condition. Inside, we are forming a for each loop to iterate through the child's, right? So it's a tree node collection and individual entry in that collection is a tree node. So finally, since we have a single tree node, from there we are reading the text and we are appending it to the string builder. So here we already uh, created the string builder and we are appending the selected node text. Finally, from string builder we are making call to to string and uh, populating the txt old child. So this is txt old child and we are populating that from uh, string builder. Now let's go to the demo and uh, make modification to our web form and handle the selected change event. So now we are in the web form and we will get the toolbox. And 
and place the label so here we are making absolute position selected tree node and we will place a text box next to it so by default the controls are added uh, top to bottom we have to go to format and send the position to absolute then move the control wherever you want we will name the text box as txt selected So text mode we have to set it as multi-line for the second control. So that's all. We are uh, done with our uh, form design. Now we will pick the tree we control. Choose uh, properties. Let me pin it for some time. And we even stab and by default selected no change it is selected here. Double click on this empty area to get the event handler first uh, from our tree view one we are making use of the selected node property and from there we are reading the text and displaying that in the txt selected we will check this Now, if I pick parent 3, that is get displayed here. So, this is working now. Now, we will write code to iterate through all the child nodes of the selected node. So, for that, here we are using the string builder and show potential fixes. 
and can either use uh, system dot text or uh, um, system dot text dot string builder. We will go ahead with uh, system dot text. So if child's not equal to null, that means here we already uh, picked the child node for the selected node. So if the selected node is a end node, it may not have any. It will not have any child. So that's what here we are checking. If uh, there is no child, we will come out. And if childs are not equal to null, that means we have a valid childs, one or more child. So we will come inside and form our for each loop. So we are iterating through this uh, uh, tree node collection to get uh, each uh, tree node. And uh, inside the body of this for each loop, we are appending the text of the node to the string builder right so once this is done we have all the child nodes text collected into the string builder so we can retrieve the string from this string builder so it's a collection right now our collection of string or the strings added to the string builder uh, we can retrieve the collected string using the two string method on the string builder and the return string we are assigning it to our multi-line text box control that's all for now we will rebuild the solution Now we are ready to go and we will launch the web page in Microsoft Edge. And when I pick root 3, we won't have any child this time. Let's pick uh, root 2 and this will show parent 1, parent 2, parent 3 because this are the child. And if I pick parent 3, you can see parent 3 is the selected node and it's a child or child 1, child 2, child 3. Right? So that's all here in this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.